One of the most common types of dizziness that you may experience is called benign paroxysmal positional vertigo, or BPPV. Many people just call it having the crystals or having the vertigo. This type of dizziness is quite common. It's more common as we get older, particularly in women, and can happen a bit more often if you've had a fall or head injury, or if you've had an injury to the ear itself. This is a very simple sort of disorder to evaluate for, and you may experience this if you go to your doctor or through the vestibular laboratory or physical therapist. To do this, the clinician is going to move you through a series of head maneuvers in order to move those displaced little crystals back to where they belong. This is a very simple thing you can do either in the clinic or at home. To do this test, we'll start by doing what's called a Dix Hall Pike test. For that, the patient turns the head 45 degrees and then will lean back. One, two, three. The clinician then holds the head at this 45 degree angle with the head hanging off the table. We pause here just to look for any change in eye movements or a sense of dizziness or vertigo that can happen with this position change. Most patients with BPPV will get dizzy within the first 10 seconds of being in this position. If the patient is positive for BPPV, we then move into what's called an Epley maneuver. In that, I'm going to move Sarah's head into a few different positions to move the crystals back to where they belong. So first, we'll start by just turning the head all the way over to the left, again, 45 degrees. The patient may get dizzy again in this position, and so we wanna wait. Once the dizziness is passed, we move into the third position. For this position, I'm going to have Sarah roll onto her left shoulder with her nose pointing towards the ground. This position helps to get the crystals back to the uppermost part of the inner ear so that we can then get them back into the gravity sensor where they should be. Again, the patient may feel dizzy during this event, um, but it should subside within about a minute. After the dizziness is gone, I'll then have Sarah swing her feet off the side of the table and sit up with her chin tucked to her chest. This final position allows any debris to get put back into where it belongs, and the patient may feel a burst of dizziness in this situation. Sarah can lift her head back to a normal position, and we should find that the dizziness is much reduced. It's quite common that patients experience dizziness and sometimes nausea with this test. That's perfectly normal. That tells us that the test is working. Once we know that you have BPPV, we can do this maneuver quickly to help make you feel better in a much quicker time period than perhaps waiting for this to resolve on its own. BPPV is a very common condition. It can occur more than once in your lifetime. And so if you do have something that continues to return, particularly with movements, you might consider BPPV as an option for that diagnosis. Talk to your doctor about any sort of positional dizziness that you may have and perhaps request a visit with a physical therapist or audiologist to help you resolve this condition.